Drum roll, please. Pardon the pun, because uh, they have drums. We've got a washing machine! So, this little bad boy here, let me talk you through her. She is a Cater Wash from Cater Quick. 18 kilograms of pure washing machine goodness. Very, very lucky. I was complaining. Yeah, washing machines. Oh my god, they're. That is exactly what I need. At least mum would um, stop screaming at me for putting uh, numbers in the family one at home. About all of the disgusting rugs I have. And I'm not being funny, we are going to count them in a minute, but to get these sent away to be washed, how much would that cost? A lot. Two or three grand? Yeah. There are a lot, a lot of rugs. But yeah, I was getting upset at the uh, rug situation. Luckily, Caterquick came to my absolute rescue, a damsel in distress, and they said, Meg, we can send you a washing machine. And here she is. So today, She's, uh, she's having her first wash. We've got some numbers lined up for her there. We're then going to take all the rugs down, sort them out, decide which ones need washing, which ones just need Hobbit to give them a little brush. Okay, so don't say that we're not giving the uh, Katie Wash a true test because look at this. We're not going to wash every single one because, you know, it'll be 2030 by then. But we'll pick the right, pick the muddiest and the dirtiest. They can do, it can do indoor rugs, outdoor rugs, summer sheets, bandages, head collars. Through these, we're gonna brush the worst off because obviously, you know, it's good to reduce any dust and hay and hair going in the washing machine. It does have a little filter, guys, that you should be changing weekly. Just a little warning. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna brush through all of these, organize what we want washing, what's gonna go to the rug charity and what is clean enough to go back up on there, and then we will be cleaning that. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna fill up the washing machine for its first wash, and I've chosen some lovely white numbers, which are, I say lovely, they are absolutely dirty right now, but I'm hoping, hope, hoping, hoping that the cater wash is going to get them sparkling white. Just a quick heads up guys, you're going to want to get yourself some pony detergent. This is designed to like break down soil, grease, hair. It's going to be a lot better than like the normal little Tide Pods that you'd chuck in. That's your... really clever. Isn't it? I like Isn't that. Isn't it just? And it's also got a little key for, for oh, hard like... soft water, like how much you want to put in. Oh, that's good. Isn't it lovely? So without further ado, let's pile these numbers in. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> okay, so first up, we've got a pure number. In she goes, into the drum. 18 kg of pure goodness. We've got my Gallop and Glory number. This one especially dirty. I think it's fresh from Victon. That's really bad that I've not washed it yet. It's nice. Gonna go ahead and turn her into that. And we're just gonna layer her. Why have you turned in her there. inside out? It's so, yeah, dirty on the inside. So That's very really, clever, yeah. Yeah, 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 very, very clever. We've got a Shire's Equestrian dressage pad. That's just dirty everywhere, so that will just we'll let the machine decide. Which way it's gonna go. <laughs> We've got my Voltaire Design puffy pad. Really dirty, I mean, that is quite frankly. <laughs> That's disgusting. Sorry, Voltaire Design. And I'm gonna go ahead and mush just one last one in, which is another Voltaire Design dressage pad. Mum's gonna get angry. But we're gonna try and see if we can get Five numbers in here. Five numbers, guys. I personally it. think that's. I fine. mean, trial and error. You've you've got to just it try is and trial see. And error. Like you've got to leave a little bit of room for activities. Exactly. I mean, look at that. Look at that spin. Yeah. Right. Let's try and error. Let's and see. Cross our fingers. We're gonna pretend that it's towels. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit because I'm excited. Change the temperature a wee bit. And. Maybe a medium spin? Yeah. Medium spin. Right, so an hour and eight minutes. And our numbers should be ready to play. For you though, guys, it'll be a couple of seconds, you lucky little... You lucky little devils, you, yeah. eh? Oh, I'd say a medium soiling is what we've, uh, yeah, what we've experienced. So. Show us what we're doing. Which bit do we put it in? I think the big bit. Okay. This is where I need my mummy. Time to pour our deodorant in. Ooh. Deodorant. Ooh. Detergent. <laughs> in you get. Don't you dribble her. Don't you 
dribble are you? Do you think that's enough? I can work out how much I need with a measuring jug, but quite frankly, I'm too excited. Let's go, let's go. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, woohoo! Just, just found another little, little friend there on the fence. He wants to be washed as well. All I can say is it is a blimmin' good job that we've now got this beast to wash all of our rugs because it would have never got done before. Oh, also, Robert Whittaker has a uh, has a cater quick washing machine, which I thought was quite cool. We just she's all done. Oh, the crisp whiteness. Okay, right, let's go. Oh, we started with literally the one that was the absolute worst. Wow, that's done a pretty good, pretty good oh, job. Wow. I mean, given that that is fully stained on there, that's the most that's it's really ever gotten good. out. So I'm just going to pop them on here, hang that's them up really to dry. Good. Dry as one, looking good. Oh wow. Do -do -do -do. Show us the insides. Boom. Oh wow, look at that. Look at the hair there. Would you look at that? Oh, I'm really impressed, I am. I'm really impressed. And also, managing to do five in one. And these are yeah. like, some of these are my old numbers. They're pretty... Pretty stained. Pretty stained. Uh, this one I think I've had pretty much since I started being sponsored by Pure. It's still pretty clean. Beautiful. Very impressive, right. Time for a ruggy rug rug. The 18 kg cater wash can wash up to a seven foot heavyweight outdoor rug, which is a lot, like that's a big heavy rug. My girls wear six foot, just for reference. So we're going to start with this grim indoor on top. Um, as you can see, nice encrusted with little poos and dust and just, yeah, that's the before. We'll pop her in, we'll show you the after. You so, do... is it, what's the inside like? Lift oh, the inside yeah. there. Might be a bit white in there, mightn't it? Oh, it's actually oh, not no, that no, bad the inside. It's just very smelly. Um, you do need to make sure that you do the rug up, just so things aren't clattering around or getting like wrapped around and caught. I'm really excited for this. I don't think this rug has ever been washed. It's a big rub. This is, I don't know if this is six or six three. It might have been Lara's. Wow, nice and roomy in there. If you can see, it's Shoot quite me. dark. Yeah. <laughs> so I've stuffed it in. Now indoor rugs, you can just put on. Oh dear. You can just put in with the uh, normal detergent. Outdoor rugs, we'll explain later how we do them. Right, let's pour this in. You've seen days of washing guys with random clips of footage, but I've managed to get the rug pile down so much. I've moved them all over here. So this is all I've got left to wa wash. Um, it's, I think it's all outdoor rugs, if I've done it correctly. But I want to have a quick talk to you about what you need to do with the outdoor ones. And I'm gonna use Teddy Bear's Flamingo rug as a demonstration. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can actually tell it's a Flamingo rug. It is rather, yeah. rather dirty. <laughs> there we go, yeah, you can see it there on the one bit that's not too grubby. Um, but I'll hold it up for you and show you what it's like. Wow. Pretty grubby. 
But the important thing for outdoor rugs is that they need reproofing. Obviously, you want them to remain waterproof. So what you have to do is send them through the washing machine as usual using your normal detergent. Also, I actually found a jug for it, which has made things a lot easier. Um, and then you need to let it do that wash and then put it back in with a reproofing solution, which you can get from Kate Quick. Um, just on a quick wash, but you've got to have washed it first because that can't stick to mud, so it needs to go on a clean rug. I'm gonna put like mum and my, my coats in there, um, so like, you could literally put it straight in on coats because they're not muddy, but horse rugs, they need a wash first, so I'm gonna quickly do these up. Okay, she's ready to go in. A last look at the before. I've honestly been in awe of how my other rugs have come out. Like everyone that comes out, I'm like, mum, look at this. In she goes. Oh my God, that stinks, that rug. Oh, she's got a real waft of it then. Bear, you're a dirty pony. <laughs> okay. They get all damp, don't they? Yeah, it's like damp and dirty mud. Got horse wee wee on. Sorry, washing machine, that's your problem now. Okay, heavy duty for sure. Extra heavy, I would say so. Hot, high. We'll see her in a bit. Fingers crossed. We collide, we break down. Caving in to our doubts. Faces fear. When words are said, we'll regret. I can see the fire that we made just to save us. When we try to make up for never letting go, said the things we promised not to say, then we break up just to start all over, even though we know this is the hard way. my red rug in there this one is just a kind of lightweight waterproof one i'm not sure what size that is it might be a five nine anyway it's really not taking much space up in the washing machine so i'm going to put some head collars in so in this bag you'll have seen i've got three head collars in there they're absolutely minging like so filled with grease i said bag i mean hay net <laughs> Basically, if you pop them in a net, then it just stops like them clonking around too much and flying all over the place. Same applies, make sure all of the buckles are done up. I think I figured out like the tighter you do the buckles, the better. There's just less, you know, things flying around basically. So I've put them in there, I'm gonna chuck them in with the rug. Ooh, and then let the machine work her magic. Oh, can't really, there we go. Just about squeezed past there. All right, girl. Let's fill you up. We collide, we break down. Caving in to our doubts. Faces filled with sadness. When words are said, we'll regret. I've not shown you how to do, which is imperative, is changing or, or emptying the filter down here. So obviously, obviously, <laughs> we're washing really greasy, muddy, hairy rugs and the washing machine gets all of that off and I don't know, pumps it down here. So you do have to remember to empty this weekly or if you're doing like loads of heavy rugs, like. I've been washing up to five or six rugs a day, guys. Like, I should be doing it every day if I'm keeping that going. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do it. 
this is probably not the best way to do it, but I just use something thin. To pop, oh gosh, I should get, I should get a better utensil than that. Don't use a knife. So you pull that down, get yourself a jug or something, and you're just gonna wanna pop that down. There's a little handle to twizzle, and it's all about timing here, because you do risk getting all of this all over your hand. Oh, I can feel it coming. Ah! Here I collect some of that water. Hang on, I'm just gonna breathe it. Oh, I just, I spilt the jug. Oh, 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 I missed it. <laughs> that was a terrible demonstration. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can see, look at that lovely, yummy hair. They just, look at that. Delicious. And then if you're feeling nice, you just give a little sponge out. That's really not that bad though. You can see I've been quite good at emptying this. So then you just pop that back in. Super easy. Make sure it's twizzled up, otherwise you're gonna get dribbles. There we go, fish, bash, bosh. <laughs>